As we look around in our surroundings, we see a wide variety of things with different shapes, sizes and texture. Everything in the universe is made up of materials which scientists have termed as matter. When we observe different types of matter around us, we see that it exists in three different states, solid, liquid and gas. Now children, think of a solid object. If we observe the particular object, which in this case is a brick, then we see that it has a definite shape, distinct boundary and a fixed volume. A solid substance may break under force, however, it is difficult to change its shape, so it is rigid. Again, if we think about a matter in liquid state, for example, we take colored water. Pour the colored water in a glass. Take another glass and pour the same water from the first glass into the second. Here we observe that the liquid has no fixed shape but has a fixed volume. It takes the shape of the container in which it is kept. Liquids flow and changes shape so they are called fluid. Students, have you seen a balloon when we try to press it or squeeze it? The air gets compressed. Thus we observe that gases are highly compressible as compared to solids and liquid. In gaseous state, the particles are widely scattered and they move about randomly in high speed. The component particles of a matter in solid state are close together. The particles of a liquid are still close but move freely and in gaseous state particles that are neither close together nor fixed in place and for this reason matter occur in different states. The process in which a matter changes from solid to liquid state is called melting and the temperature at which a solid melts to become a liquid at atmospheric pressure is called its melting point. We know that ice melts at 0 degree centigrade. However, it is interesting to know that the temperature inside the beaker do not change until the ice melts completely. This happens even though we continue to heat the beaker. Now children, you may be curious as to why does it happen. Well, in this case, the heat gets used up in changing the state by overcoming the force of attraction between particles. As this heat energy is absorbed by ice without showing any rise in temperature, it is considered that it gets hidden into the content of the beaker and is known as latent heat. The amount of heat energy required to change 1 gram of a solid into liquid at its melting point is known as the latent heat of fusion. We can use calorie per gram or joule per gram as its unit. Students, you may be interested to know how a matter in liquid state changes into gaseous state. When we heat water while trying to make tea, what do we observe? The water starts to boil and at the same time water slowly changes to vapor. The temperature at which a liquid starts boiling at the atmospheric pressure is known as its boiling point and change of state from liquid to vapor at its boiling point is called vaporization. During boiling, the temperature in the container does not change until the matter completely changes into gas, even if it is continuously supplied with heat. This is because the heat is used up in changing the state by overcoming the attraction between particles. The heat absorbed is called latent heat. 
and the amount of heat required to change 1 gram of liquid into gas at its boiling point is known as the latent heat of vaporization. Here we have learned that substance around us changes state from solid to liquid and from liquid to gas on application of heat. Now students, can we change a matter directly from solid to gas? Or is there any matter that directly changes from solid to gas without attaining liquid state? Discuss this with your teacher and your friends and try to find the solution.